Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out Hook, Line, and Laser X, or Tin, or whatever. Uh, we, play we played the original version of this a while back, and I think I might have broken it, but this is the X version by Pikachu. Hello everyone, I'm back after about 25,000 years with another chamber. Enough time for Wheatley to find Hook, Line, and Laser and make it new. He thinks he is so clever because he put some interesting mechanics in it, but really, and don't tell him I said this, He's just a coward and a moron. But hey, I think he made it look pretty nifty, bo bifty, if I do say so myself. This is a sequel to my last chamber that takes ideas from it and builds upon them, as well as some fresh new ones to create new and, in my opinion, better puzzle. To create a new and, in my opinion, better puzzle. Enjoy. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> also, P.S. Big thanks to your friendly neighborhood tube cat, aka Demon Risen, for playtesting. Difficulty at medium. Music, 7 from Rexora. Alright. Well, let's check it out then. Yeah, just, uh, getting a, uh, test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. Although, does give me an idea. What if we oh, the stand audio here level is different and on those. the gentle hum of the laser transport us to a state of absolute relaxation? Might help us think of a way to open the door. Just do the test! Just do the test! Well, this is certainly one of my favorite songs from Rexor, so that's cool. Right. Well, we have a laser here. Come on, come on! There we go. Jeez. Let's go ahead and get out of here with it. Oh, what did that I activate? I activated two things. I activated... Antline to another laser, and square. Interesting. There's also... That up there, which I guess does stuff eventually. Interesting. Oh, this is an auto lift, but it's powered. That's neat. You can't really do that in Vanilla Puzzle Maker. Right. So then we turn this off and we get a light bridge, right? Yeah! Light bridge. Right, so let's just do this like a normal person would. Well, first of all, let's get this laser cube. That seems useful, right? Come down here, please. And, uh... Well, we can't really take it out of here, per se, but we can leave it- we can leave it downstairs. There's at least that much going for us. Alright, so that's- that's that. We should probably also get this cube before we go exploring off in random directions. Yeah, so once we get this cube, we can start doing some things, I suppose. Question is, do we want to put this cube here or over there? Well... Let's just pretend I didn't fall. Come on. Do we want to put the cube down here, or over there? Because if we do it over there, we can bootstrap the laser, right? That's my understanding, anyway. Let's just go ahead and put this here. This seems like a reasonable thing to do, right? Like a normal human being? Should work. And then our exit ticket is having to redo a bit of the puzzle. That's fine. Right, so then we do that ish and this. There we go. <laughs> oh, come on, Val. There we go. There we go. We need a light bridge. And... now we're heading over there. We are heading over here, rather. Interesting. I'm sure we can find a way to burn the Wheatley monitor. So this is powered, what is that power? X. Have I seen X yet? There's also that, and that. There's a lot of- a lot of laser catchers in here, aren't there? Ooh, a fling spot. Interesting. 
This is X. Another auto lift that's powered. Excellent. So we can look down here in shoot portals. Interesting. Ooh. Exit condition is that, but we also have to be over there when we do it. Is that a return path over there? I'm just curious to see what this return path is. Ah, it's a portal surface. Okay. What is this, though? Another portal surface. Oh, there's portal surfaces up there. Gotcha. And we can't see them from this side, of course, but that's fine. Right. Why did I do what I've done? I don't need a laser in here like that. Oh, maybe I can see those portal surfaces if I stand over here. Ah, yes! That would allow me to get over to that side. There we go. Now things are making sense. So we have this, which blocks player movement. And this that doesn't. But these both block cubes. I'm not sure why we need both, particularly, but sure. Hmm. So if we have a cube in this area, we can bring it across and put it on the light bridge. That's an idea. Or, alternatively... There's a lot of- a lot of options here. If I'd left a cube over there... Let's go do that! Let's go leave a cube on that portable surface, so I can get a cube in here. Right. Easiest way... What are these portal surfaces for? Hmm... Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Where did I leave that cube at? All oh, right, this one, that one, I left it over there. Gotcha. Yeah, and I needed that for the auto lift. Okay. Hmm. Well, we can line this up at the very least. Wait, what would I point it at though? I pointed at this. Kinda hard to even see what I'm aiming at here. Well, that's the thing I can do, but it does not seem particularly useful. And there's also... this? But I don't know why I would want to do that. Nope, let's not murder myself, please. Yeah, that doesn't seem useful at all. Huh. I don't see a way to get this cube out of here anyway. Wait, something turns off this? Oh, something turns off this fizzler. Oh, it's this! <laughs> the outline goes all the way around in the inside there. <laughs> That's strange. Ah, the joys of antlines. Right, well, we don't need that yet. We need to get this cube out of here first of all. So... let's work on that. Um, easiest way is probably to just undo what I've done. Oops. Let's do this. Come on. Grab the cube again. We need to free this cube first of all. So let's put the laser in the appropriate lasering position. Ah, excuse me. Thank you. There we go, now we can take this guy out. And we are free to move about the cabin. And since this one's the hardest one to get back, I'm gonna put it over there, probably. Well, actually, no, I haven't decided yet.
Hmm. What all can I see when I'm standing up there? Okay, I can see stuff. Let's try... Hang on. Let's leave the hardest one here. There we go. Alright, so let's get prepped for this. In the meantime... Let's move this slightly. There we go. Hopefully what I'm about to do is intended. If not, we're gonna have some issues. Alright. Come with me. <laughs> that was strange. That was a very strange interaction. Why am I doing this? Thought I needed to leave it on the portalable surface. Hmm. Well, maybe this will prove useful anyway. Well, I think I've got these backwards. Let's- let's start over. I think the one that I'm trying to take with me is the one that needs to be on a portable surface, but also... ...pointing... ...poignantly... ...poignantly... ...over... ...over thereabouts. That angle works. And then this one will go up th up there. There we go. Portal there, and portal there. Come with me. Right, that- this should allow us to do a variety of things, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, like that, for instance. Right. Not sure we're gonna really need to do over there yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I am sure we will figure it out. But for now, we need to get back out of here. There we go. Grab the light bridge again. Head across over here. And then... From here we can see a variety of things. Including, but not limited to... The cube! If I- if I just move the cube, like, a few inches over, it'll be fine. I could still do both that and the cube separately by just moving the portal. Right, so there's that. Actually, I think I need to do it from there, which will give us an even better angle. Yeah, that's an even better angle. Oh, right, nope, nope. What does this activate again? I completely forgot. Right, it does the auto-lift this side. Right, 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 right. Oh, that poses some problems, actually. Hmm... That does indeed pose some problems. Maybe I've still got things wrong. Cause I think we're gonna fling up to respawn the cube. I think we want to respawn this cube, right? Right. <laughs> this is the one that's hard to get. I'm pretty sure, anyway. So this is the one that's gonna go over there. I think we can just leave it over there and then we'll be good for the rest of the puzzle, right? Right, so. Let's do this. Do that. Give me the cube. And we can head all the way over here. Pre-position this guy. 
all set up for big day. That should be sufficient. And our way out of here is like that. There we go. Let's grab the laser again. Excellent. So this guy... we know where we need to put him now. Take him across over here. Gonna have to do this a couple times, but that's fine. That should be sufficient. Let's double check. Indeed, that works out just fine. Right, now let's get back over there, please. And just to speed things up, because I'm tired of doing this over and over again. Yada 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 magic. Right, so, we've got everything set up. We are up here. We can do that. And then, I am pretty darn convinced... ...that even if we shoot the wrong portal, we can go up here... ...and shoot the right portal through here. Yeah, no need to worry. Let's shoot a portal there. Head over here. Well, I certainly did not plan for that, now did I? Oops, I fell right back in the hole again. Let's head back up here and shoot the portal again. And this time we will account for that. Um, There, that should be good enough. I did not expect that to have a lip like that. Alright. So now we can do this. There we go. Respawn the cube. I did remember correctly exactly which key was which. Excellent. Um... That's okay, we can just leave the cube down here and juggle it back up top. There we go. Perfect. Right, so, then we shoot across there. Save and continue. Excellent. We can aim this in advance. I think that should be sufficient. Thankfully less complex than the other map, I think. But, uh, yeah, nice work. I'd call that a decent puzzle. Right. Well guys, oh, as always, alive. thank you so much for Great. watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!